Well guys, driving down the road, what have we stumbled across here? We've stumbled across a canine unit with a load of electricals on top. A poo bag at the back. Yeah. Taking up the path. Security patrol, the parked on the public path on a public right, highway. Can I help you? Okay, you? You parked on a public path, mate. Yeah, I know. I got permission from the from from, the, from who? From the factory. You the haven't got permission from the council, though. It's a council land. Yeah, but the count. Well. Yeah, but nothing. The company doesn't own this. Pedestrian footpath. I've gated cleared it all the way because I'm on, I'm on night duty for the gate. Um, right. The police have been up and seen me and they've sort of said okay because of what I'm doing. Oh, because um, because you're working for a company or a corporation. Yeah. You're I'm, allowed to do, you're allowed to break laws no, and, and regulations. Laws. But you are, you're parked on a public footpath. Yeah, but it's been, how do I put it? I mean, if you want to make fuss, you go ahead, go through the go through the necessary channels. But I'm trying to talk to you nicely. I will do because I'm, I'm pretty upset about this. Wouldn't you be? Well, was you working earlier when the, the incident happened with the double buggy? No, no. When was that? Is there any other vehicle that's been parked here today other than you? Not that I'm aware of, no. If a double buggy can't get by, are you going to move it? Move what? The vehicle? Yeah. Yeah, of course it will. I, I mean, so why wasn't it moved earlier when the incident wasn't, occurred? It wasn't. No, I don't know who was it. I don't know who. What time was it? Well, the fact that you don't know... Do you agree that a double buggy would struggle to get past this? To get past here, yeah. Yeah. So what, why is that? Do you think that's okay? I'm willing to work with um, and co cooperate. Okay. Um, so I don't know who, what time today was the incident. Well, all we know is we've had a report that right. there's an obstruction down here. So we've come to cover the story. Now, you seem like a nice guy. Do you know what time the story was? Forget works? about it. You've just agreed to me Be now that your vehicle is an obstruction to a double bugger. I'm not giving you any information about who the lady is, what time it happened. Right. So. Can okay. you work with us and do yes, this? Yes, let's listen, talk, let's listen. talk. Let's do you talk know that properly. piece of grass there? Your vehicle will move over two metres. We need a two metre width Whip. on this gap, who, who, on this can pavement. I ask you? It's irrelevant. Why does it matter who we are well, or what I'd time like to it know happened? Who I'm you're breaking the law, mate. No, I know I'm. Say it. You know you're breaking the law. I know I'm infringing on the law. And are you, are you yeah. sure the police have allowed this? Yes, because Don't they... lie on camera. Yes. The, oh. Yes, the police allow it. They've been up several times a week. What's the shoulder number of the, the PC constable? I don't talk to them personally, but they come up, they park their car next to me, they ask me whether everything is OK. So you're telling they, me the police have given the green light for you to obstruct the public footpath they haven't so asked, a double buggy can't get by? They, I doubt it. They haven't asked me to move on, if that's what... If, if, if that's what. Well, why don't you just do the, the sensible thing and move on to the grass? Right, uh, the grass... Right, this time of year it's dry, but the grass gets very wet in the winter. Um, what, so the, the bu double buggies can't get by just because you don't want to get stuck on no, the no, grass? No, listen, if the double buggy comes up and, and struggles, to, I'm, I'm here all night, I will cooperate and I will help, I will assist, and I will move the vehicle so they can get past because of the drop curbs and everything. That's the correct thing for me to do. They shouldn't have to ask. They should have free movement on the correct. public footpath. They you shouldn't, shouldn't be an obstruction there. Correct. They shouldn't have to ask. But in the light of it being a dead end road, I, I've been asked, and I've been here for six years, to keep an eye on this gateway at night time. Well, you parked there for six years, yes. bucking this footpath. Yes. And there's been wow. no. And there's been no cause. Now I, I'm aware that it's not right. The police are I'm aware. They've, they've, they, they haven't objected. Um, the comp the Bradgate of the company because I'm working security for the Bradgate. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, a private they, private business have they, hired a private security they, firm. They've okay you've not got you've not you don't look like a security. Are you a dog handler? Yeah, yes, I'm a security dog handler. You, you got one of those blue badge things? Blue badge things. You got an SIA license? Yes, I've got an SIA license. Where is it? I don't, I don't want to see it, but shouldn't it be on display at all times? No, it has to be on my person, ready to display should someone require to see it. Because you haven't no, it should be on display at all times. No. See, Are you carrying out licensable activities at the moment? Yes. 
then it should be on display. Yeah, not necessarily. Section 9.2. If, if we're doing close protection, covert work, it doesn't... Yeah, but you're to... not. Yes, we are. You are not. <laughs> you're not doing covert work, you're mate. You're clearly a dog you're... Handler, and the fact that... So, should, round the back of your vehicle, so round the back of your vehicle, caution working dogs in transit, beware of, beware of the poo, you've got lights flashing away, you've got the tanners, it's quite clear that your security and this is a base for you and your dogs. We just want compliance, that's all. Yeah, yeah, and, and if you're not compliant, I'm our job is to highlight you want to see my SIA badge? No, right. I want you to display it, that's so you're obviously SIA licensed. It doesn't need to be to on amend. display. Yes, it, it does. does. Do you want me to show you the law? Go ahead, show me the law. Because I've got a close protection badge which doesn't need to be on display. That's you're, not, you're not working in close protection right now. When you are, I agree, you can keep it concealed. Look, mind you, there's a shunter lorry coming in. If you can stand back off the road, please, gentlemen. So Thank do you, you agree much. that if you're not working close protection and you're just simply Look, interacting with members of the public, it has you, to be on display? Are, are you going to work with me or be in We're trying to, but you're not being right. educated. You're, not, you you're saying, you you're saying that right, we're that's wrong. It. I'm, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to move the vehicle. Thank you very much. You will gentlemen. move the vehicle, yeah. And do you know this CCTV camera here? If that's capturing members of the public, you need a, a sign. It's not recording and it's not... It doesn't matter. You need a sign recording. on your vehicle it's to not... tell members of the public right. that it's recording them. You're going to raise your voice. I'm going to get defensive. Can you Go, talk... Go for it. Can you talk to me civilly in a human manner? You've just said to me you've had permission from the police to block no, the footpath. No, I didn't say I had permission from the police. Oh, I'm backtracking now. No, right? I said the police have been up several times and haven't objected. There's a difference. Was you working earlier when the incident happened? No, okay. I was not well, working. I'll no. give you the benefit of the doubt then, that Can we may be confronting the wrong person, but do you agree that you need to leave two metre gap, you need to have a sign on your vehicle that says CCTV it's in not, operation. It's not CCTV and you also, in operation. It's yes, it is. It's, it's capturing members of the public. No, it's it's not recording. It doesn't matter. It, it, it's it, it's listen, able to. Will you to. let me get a word in edgeways, please? Will you be quiet for a minute without interrupting and let me speak? I'm trying to be calm and civil with you. You haven't told me who you are. You're clearly not the police. I don't know who you are. I don't know who I'm giving this information to. Carry on. Right. We're listening. It's not a recording CCTV camera. It's a vehicle reversing camera. I don't believe you. And no, it's on permanent. I don't believe you. So I can see who's approaching. That's easy. Yeah, well, it's not reversing then. You. So it's on, so you can see who's approaching who's you. Approaching. For so instance, it's a surveillance and nothing getting, to do with reverse please, it. Are you a moron or what? You are getting now, you wow. are getting aggressive. That, 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 no. What else are you lying about? So you're, that's you're not a CCTV camera, that's a reversing camera. It's facing next to your vehicle, not at the back right. of your vehicle. So that he can see. It's quite it's clear version. where right. it's facing. It's not gentlemen, facing reverse. Five, it's it's recording members of the public. Sorry, you're not right, listening to a word this gentleman has said. We're going to have to report this. That needs to, if you can work with us, I'm you'll trying get to work with you. Okay. But you're being aggressive. Your tone of voice becomes aggressive. You go up an octave and you, and you get yeah, aggressive. Because so you're let's not, just talk. You're not listening. Right, okay. Do you agree? Three things. If you I, say yes to this, we're done, right? Number one, two meter width at least on the public footpath. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's fine then. Oh, hold on. Number two, display your SIA license at all times. Number two, that is. And number three, have a CCTV sticker on your van. You've got loads of other stickers about dogs and corrosive. One of the laws, if you've got a camera that is doing surveillance, even if it's able to record or not, you are surveying the members of the public. We need to be notified. Else, how can we request a copy of it? I'm not, well, it's not recording, so. Well, it, it's, it, it's able to. No, it's not. Yes, it, you no. could record the screen that you're watching. If you, if, if oh, you're, I see what you mean with the digital camera. If I'll you see some off, people approaching and enough. you want to capture the evidence to show the police of their, their description, you're going to record your screen, aren't you? Yeah? So, how can I request a copy of that recording? If, I, if I'm not aware right. of the camera on I mean, there. It's all if, law. If you can tell me who you are, I can go to Bradgate and say we, we've got an issue out, we, we've got an issue with parking no, out we, here. Bradgate have hired a security contractor, which is you. Well, yeah? The, so the, you're the, the professional, nothing to do with them, it's no, down to you make but, your own decisions. But Bradgate said, yes, you can, you, you can park it there, we've cleared it with the council, the police don't mind. If you can go operate, and you can, you know, I would, I would normally park in the world just like you've done, but it's it's an okay. So noise. let's put it into a different perspective. If you was a clown and I was to hire you for my son's birthday, right? I was to give you a hundred pounds to hire you for an hour, let's say, yeah. And I told you to jump off a cliff. You know, would you do it? 
No, you're going oh, to... oh, oh, it's perfectly safe, sir. You're... You will not die, you're but going... jump off this cliff you're for going me. To the street. If you can give me some more information about this incident, because I know nothing about this incident. We're local reporters. Was it? That's all. There's been was an it? incident reported. Do, do, We've come to find out what's happening what's and happening? what you're willing to do to, to stop it from happening again. Can you tell me what time it was? Was it today? Was it last night? Was it yesterday? I'm not giving you specifics. Because I can't help you unless you can give me at least a time. Considering you are re clearly recording, then... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, it's not recording. I can show you it's not recording. Um, Why is the dog quiet? Is there a dog in there? Yeah, because there's a dog in there. Well, it's not, are they okay? It's well, not being a deterrent to me. It's because it's trained properly and it, and, it, and it doesn't need to be a deterrent. That's what a working dog is, a deterrent. No, no, you no, no, it doesn't okay. look like that. What, what, what would you use your dog for? If someone's attacking me, my dog will, is legally allowed to defend me. So if, we, if, if you've come out to three blokes, right, if we was attacking you, there's nothing that dog can do through that metal door. Well, I'll open it. How would you? If I, if I if I grabbed you now, I'll put some distance between. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. I'm and, and you've got and let me let me just highlight this into a one second one second. Let me just carry on what I'm saying, and let me highlight this in a bigger professional manner for yourself. You have also mentioned to us that you have close protection license. Yes. Yes. So for you to have close protection license, surely you should be trained enough not to stand this close to somebody that sure. could attack you. There's three of us, there's one of you. There's so no way you it. can get to that van quick enough. You enough. should have already assessed the situation. Yes, I have. Now, can I finish my sentence now? Go on. Right. I'm trained well enough. Um, you're here to discuss a matter. And I'm sensible enough to be a grown-up and discuss it with you sensibly. Um, this gentleman in the white shirt he kept raising his voice, but I'd like to keep it calm and collected so we can discuss everything. If there's a problem, and you don't really, really don't want me, the police come up and say, no, from now on, it, because of the incident that you're telling me about that I know nothing of. Mm -hmm. um, okay, um, let's just say it didn't happen, right? But the possibility is it could happen. It could happen so you yeah. are obstructing the footpath, yes, I'm you admit that, right? I'm obstructing so the footpath. It, I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna put the person in the spotlight who it happened to, right? It happened to, yeah. They, they turned around, they turned around because they're, they're path was obstructed, obstructed. Yeah, okay? that's, that's, so I, they don't I want a big deal out of it we're here to find out why, why it happened why it happen, and is right. it going to continue to happen and your reaction and what you believe is right so well, at, at the start I, yes, you I were saying it. oh i'm allowed to park here the that's police it. have authorized it no and now I you're didn't, backtracking no, a bit no no i did not say that and i did not put a stroppy voice on like you like you exaggerated what i said was the police are aware that we park or that i park here and they haven't objected I would only believe now, that if you have a shoulder number of the constable. No, I haven't, because I wasn't... So, in... it's just words. OK, well, they, they come up and down. But now you've brought all this to my attention, then yes, we'll act on it. I shall now go into Bradcat and say, well, there's been an incident. Parking where you would like us to park is now become a bit of a problem, quite rightly so, because yes. we're obstructing the pavement. We've now got to work, work, work it out somehow. Well, the members of the public would like to hear that response. It's a shame it didn't come at the start. It didn't come at the, at the start. Well, I don't. I know nothing about the. No, when we first started talking to you about the possibility that you could be obstructing, right. you didn't give us right. that this is nice why. response. Right. This is why, because you came out a little bit aggressive, and I was on the defence. I thought you was aware of it because you was on shift earlier. I wasn't on shift. Okay, earlier. well that explains that, and do you understand our point? I don't know. I know nothing about the incident. Considering you mentioned to us you've been parking here for six years, we thought well, you were, you was the no. main guy that parked here, and I earlier on the, when the incident happened, you would have been here. I've not. This is my first night on for seven nights. I've had last week off. Completely. Okay. So whatever happened before seven o'clock this evening, I am aware of nothing about it. Um, okay. And I'm happy to work with you. I realise it's a, it's yet wrong to park on the pavement, but because of its a very low use road and low use pavement. Um, then Bradgate said, well, it, 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 it's okay, and the police have been up and haven't objected. They haven't said okay, I admit, yeah. but they haven't objected. They, they, they talked to me through the car window, that's why I couldn't get shoulder numbers. Anytime uh, you talk to a constable, the, especially in public, you should just you document yeah. for my own, for my own benefit. If you get the shoulder number and their last name, then you, that is pretty much enough to find out if they're telling you something True, yeah. wrong. Yeah. Then we um, could put the blame onto that person, you see. Well, there's no. Well, it is blame. There, there is somebody to blame here, and unfortunately, it's you, I mean, the driver. If it be the incident that happened earlier, which I know no, nothing about, was this incident what right now? Oh, right now, yeah. I'm happy to be. I mean, if you if you want to, let's phone the police, get them up, and see what they say. Is right, that okay? What's the emergency? 
Well, it's, it's not an emergency, but it it, 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 it would clear, it would back me up if the police turn up and say. What are you backing up for? Because you don't believe me. <laughs> I know you don't believe me when I say the police have. Who said that? I can tell by your tone that you don't believe me. Because you keep saying the police. Oh, have I don't given... believe the police have given you permission. No, no, they, no, they, they haven't. Probably turning a blind eye. What I'm saying is they won't own up to that. That's what I'm saying. If, if you had a shoulder number, we could hold them to account. So if we, basically, if a police officer comes up now, um, they, they're not going to admit to knowing of, or have seen you in yeah, before. They'll deny all knowledge. They'll deny all knowledge and they'll turn around and go, yeah. well, we wouldn't authorise anything that's illegal. No, 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 no. And they'll cop-splain. This is why this term gets thrown around the internet quite a lot, cop-splaining. And are um, you really worried about getting stuck on the grass with tyres like that? Look well, at his tyres! I know, yeah, I spotted that earlier! <laughs> it's, it's, it's not getting stuck on the tyres, it's, it's the unevenness, you know. Yeah. That's why you get the police officer's badge on there. Because then if we go and speak to them, I'm just saying that like, if, you, if you get their badge number, yeah, and their name, then when we go speak to them about it, then they can't oh, lie. Oh, right, I'm with you. Then I'm they can't you. lie about it, because then you've, lie, got, yeah. all, you've yeah. got their details. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, the police come up and they pull up and stop and say, and I don't think, oh, I must, must get your name and I must get your badge number because you know, they're just having general um, PR with me as they're coming yeah, past. But, but no, if, no, if you, you're giving me you, authorization to obstruct the highway, please come No, no, you, you've brought it to my attention. It's now, it's now causing. Brad Gate have always said it will be okay. It'll be okay. The police have said we'll turn the blind eye. But now you've brought it to our attention. Fine, we'll we'll we'll, we'll do the right thing. It's simple as that, you know. Now you've brought it. Now you've come up and spoke to me about it, and it's an issue. Then yeah, we'll 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 cooperate. I don't want to cause any any ruckus or any or any aggravation. So point one then, I, I class point one of our our visit here settled, right? Yeah. So after today, you'll leave two meters. Um, this is the. But if, if you can tell me, if you this can is dot gov dot uk. If you can. Yeah, Let's I move mean, on. This no, is no, no. If, you can, if I can take your advice on where I should park... You can on, park wherever you like, two metres at least. Two metres from... Then you're not obstructing from the, curb. the footpath. From, from the side of the vehicle to the kerb. Yes. Okay. At the minute, you've left about a metre there. Right, yeah. move on. Gov.uk, gov right? Fire, SIA yeah. licence conditions. I'm going to show you something. Do you asked me to show you the law, so here's the law. Right, the conditions are, you must wear your SIA, SIA licence where it can be seen at all times when engaging in designated licensable activity. Unless you've reported it lost or stolen, it's in our possession, SIA, or the work you are doing requires that you, you not identifiable as a licensed operative. That's the close protection work that, that you if mentioned. You're, if you're doing so, right, yeah. at the moment, yeah, have so you reported it lost? No, no, no. You, no, you know I've got it in my pocket and I have so, got the armband on. Yeah, it has because, to be on dis Because you've caught me, you've okay. caught me out. So, so, we, so we've caught you out. But what time did you get here? How long, how long have Do you been Do you normally talking? wear your armband? If you say yes, matter close. Yeah. How long have we been, we, we, we been talking? Why, why is that an issue? Well, because I was on shift at 7 o'clock. What time is it now? Quarter past. Quarter past. So if you came in and, and... My friend, if you're telling me you've got an armband and you normally wear it, we're up yeah. There's I've no deal. Now, minutes. it's a matter of whether this is able to record or not. No. And if, if we approached and you felt a threat, Surely you'd want evidence on camera of no, the suspects. No, because it's in a public place. So yes, it's in a public place. And if that was able to record, record members of the public, yeah. it needs to have a sign. That's all. CCTV. If you ever capture or record images of public... Yeah, in a, I do. Although, I, it's, I, know, it's, I know what you're saying. I've, it's I've, because I've, you're working on behalf of a company. I've got the little monitor in there and I can... Phones, I could pull the phone out and then yeah. we, I see what you're saying. And yeah. why would you? Well, surely that's a deterrent to people like. If I, if, if I was going to cause you any hassle it, and I saw a CCTV. Me, can I get a bottle of water in my mouth? It's very. Yeah, 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 go for it. Of course, man, of course. Do you agree though? If if, if we were going to be captured on his camera, mm. we've got a right to know about it, haven't we? Yeah, because he's working on behalf of a company yeah. uh, slash business, which you, you've got to have a light. Yeah, the CCTV. Like. I'm happy to talk and come yeah. Of course I am. You, you've got lots of deterrent stickers. Why would you not want a, a CCTV de deterrent sticker on your van? Why not? Because I don't want one. You have to by law. Because you've got it's equipment. Not, that's no, it, it. I've showed you the law. Do you want to show the law on CCTV? It's not CCTV. It's a reversing camera rigged up to the door. I know, what you're, I know what you're saying. Do you know that one in the middle, above the double doors? That's, that's, that's your reversing that's camera. Down, yeah. Yeah. That this is not. This is not. That's more of a reverse camera, that's like CCTV. It was made as a CCTV camera. So I can see, so I don't have to have that door open in the window. That's what I put it on there for. 
But I agree with what you're saying, gentlemen. Um, yes. And you're going to get better now. Yeah, you're not going to obstruct. You're going to show people that you're SIA licensed. That's a deterrent in itself. I can put the license. But oh, did you find out what time you started recording? Yeah, we started recording just 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 after your shift started. Just after. So I probably haven't got settled in with all my equipment on yet. So. See, when I go to work, I normally get there 15 minutes early to make sure I start work at the time I'm meant to start work. Yeah. Not that I clock in at that time. Right, yeah, I know. You, you know what I mean? Know. So, So, what would you advise me to do now, gentlemen? Those three points that I've mentioned. Just yeah. leave two metre gap. Two metre gap, from the CCTV sticker, and SIA licence yeah, on well, as soon as you SIA pull up. SIA licence is normally on display, but when you rolled up and I got out, I, hadn't, I haven't got all my equipment on yet. Yeah. That's why. Um, yeah, my SIA is normally on display, um, but I agree with what you're saying about the pavement, 100%. I can't deny it, we are causing a destruction, but we but we figured with, with Bradgate in cooperation with the council and the police turning a blind eye, not giving permission like you keep saying, but turning a blind eye, yeah. we figured, you won't tell me what time, so I can't even check to see who was on duty and, and give you some more information to see if there was anything fed back to Bradgate. Um, staff or, uh, or Bradgate security themselves, but you I can't help you because you won't give me any info. But all I can say is categorically, it wasn't me because I've only just come on shift and I haven't been on shift for the last week. So, so you agree with that? It wasn't me. If someone got offensive and abusive and caused a problem, then send the book out. If you can tell me who it is, I can sort, I can sort it out. I can say this person's caused destruction. My boss can then take action. If it was the same, if it was. The, the other dog unit that was here, or if it was another car here. Or well, what I can tell you is, if it happened during the day, it was not the security dog unit, because we are only here at night time. What, from seven onwards? From seven till seven. What are you protecting? We're just keeping an eye on the, on the bridge in which gate, the HGV gate, which is just here. Have you had trouble, have you? Uh, a long time ago we have, yeah. What, actual theft, or um, just not, attempts? Not, not, not theft, but um, aggravation, so we say. Obstructions, obstructions. Oh, protests. Obstruction, that's all I can give you. Um, so us being here is just enough to keep that obstruction so, so the lorries are free to come in and out, in and out, without this road getting What do they do here? Congested. Bradgate Bakery. And what does it make? Well, it's a bakery, what do you think? Bread. Bread, Bread sandwiches and cakes and things like that. And they make them up, like for yeah. ready meal sort of thing? Yeah, yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah. And then the lorries are in and out all night, delivering, loading up, delivering. And we, we need this to be kept clear of obstruction. Hence, I can't park in the road like, like you've done. So what would, what would bring protesters here? What's, what are they protesting about? You tell me what these protesters are doing, you know? What, what I have you, no idea. Have you, have you seen a protest attempt here? That's it. I haven't, no. Because it was, because I've, since I've been here, because, because we're here, just outside this gate, they're not what? There is no trouble. And if a group of protesters arrive, you wouldn't want to capture their image. You want to get, you wouldn't want to get evidence to help the police identify any suspects in the future. Surely that's part no. of your job. No, 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 it's not. I'm here as a deterrent. The fact so, so if protesters arrive, what's your first, what's your first action to take? Nine, nine, nine. Protesters on site. Phone call to my boss. Is it an injunction? Come down and sort it out. And that's it, I'm a deterrent. Is there an injunction to stop protesters coming here? I don't know, we'll have to go to Bradgate. So you dial 999 for a group of protesters doing lawful activity? The, the, if there's no injunction, the police don't need to be involved. Well, I'll do 101 then, you know. Um, but if there's a threat, then I'll do three nines. Of course I will. I'm in a public place. Yeah, but the, the protesters don't normally threaten people. They just do peaceful well, protests, how, don't they? How many protesters have you come across? Quite, quite a few. Yeah. But I'll certainly, all, all I am is a deterrent. Okay. If my okay. presence doesn't deter, that's not my problem. Yeah. Are you an expensive deterrent? No. What, you're cheap? Very cheap. Is it your own company? No. What's the security firm called? The security of what? Yeah, who, who employs you? Well, I'm subcontracted in through Bradgate. Yeah, so what, you, what are you called? What, what's, the, what's the... I'm sole trader. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm so, so Bradgate Bakery have contacted you directly. No, they've they, they've contracted a security firm. Yeah. So what's the firm name? I'm not going to give you that. I'm afraid. I don't, why not? I don't have to give you that. I'm you don't afraid. have to. But why would you withhold information like that? I'm not withhold. You just said I don't have to. I choose not to. 
But you wanted the details of the lady that, that came down with the bush chair. No, I didn't want the details of the lady that came down with the bush chair. See, you, you're putting words in No, my I'm, I'm sure. When all, you're defensive, I'm just are. trying to wonder why. You're what are you hiding? You, uh, can I, I see your license? You did not. Just to make sure you've I got one. I did not want the details of the lady. I asked what time it was yeah, yeah, so yeah, I okay. could assess maybe who was on and give you some help that way. Okay. It just wonders, it makes me wonder whether you have got a license, that's yeah. all. So as long as you have, mate, we're only here to make sure everything's complying, that's all. 2024, okay, okay. Well, I think we're done then. We're not okay. going to stay too long. So, We've so got other places to be. What would you advise me to do from now on? I'm, I'm happy to listen to your advice. Have you not learned and, and, anything? And had, had heed. So all, so all you're advising or asking me to do is to give two metres. We're here for the public, right? From and the public want no obstruction no on their path. On they want to know when they're being recorded on CTV and they want to know who these SIA licensed security guards are, that maybe they will need their help. If, if we know your SIA license, we might want to come to you to help. If I'm being followed by somebody and I know that you're a professional and you may be able to help me, yeah? I, want, I just don't want yeah. to see a man dressed in black. You could be a threat to people. You could be perceived as a threat to me. I don't know who you are, but if you've got a blue card, I know that you, yeah. you, you can be trusted, yeah? And this is, uh, so you must speak. have it on display for those reasons. For those reasons. Well, I haven't got it on yet, because you've approached me no, before we, I got we dressed. We can let that go. If you're telling but, me you will have it on from now on, you'll leave two metres, and if you ever record or think about recording, put a sticker on your van. I think then we're sorted. I've noticed you've got an area. Was that for a TV? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, shall we go down that road or not? Because <laughs> I ain't got time. Have you got TV licensing? Is there, is there one needed for CVs nowadays? I thought that was all dropped. We didn't, we didn't say CV. It said it's a TV. TV. Oh, TV. Uh, yeah, I've got a TV in there, but it's portable, so that's covered on my home license. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we haven't I got believe time. so. Now you're going to correct me. And no. put, put <laughs> my friend, we simply haven't got time. Right? Right, We've yeah. got to move on. But did you want to say your name? No, because you won't tell me yours, and you won't even tell me where you're from. Okay. So I, okay. I believe I feel as though I've cooperated appropriately, even, not knowing even who you are. You, you, you could be. You, Does it matter? We're highlighting. Well, not this is in the now public I've, interest. Now, now I've spoken to you, and you've you've calmed down a little bit, and we can all really? talk civilly. No, it doesn't matter because I now know that you're not just a bunch of idiots giving me grief. No. So you're smiling. <laughs> Come on, work with me. I'm happy to work We're with you. We're trying, mate. We always try so, to work with them, but at yeah, the start, but, we wasn't but, getting the But the don't mutual. put words in my mouth. I didn't say the police gave me permission. I said they turned a blind eye. There is a difference. What's that insinuating to me? The police have been here. They're fine with it, you said. Yeah, no, I didn't say the police were here. They'll be fine with it. You're putting a cocky voice on <laughs> I'm trying to be a grown-up. I wish you could. I know. I know. We're, we're joking about it now. I wish I could win the lottery. Um, we're joking about it now because yeah, we're all grown-ups now, and you've brought it to my attention. I've got away with it for six years. Fair enough. Hands up. I agree with everything you say. Um, we thought, you know, well, we, it's been okay for six years. Let's just keep going until three people, one with a mask, two with hats, turn up and say otherwise. And that today is the day. So, so what you want is two. So, you, so you're happy for me to stay on the pavement as long as I've gotten two meters? Because really, I'm not giving you permission or, I, or any instructions, no, right? But it's, it's down to you. We've highlighted the issue. If a double buggy can get by with a two meter width, then I don't see that you're causing an obstruction anymore. Right. However, yeah. vehicles off, vehicles off the roads, uh, roads are for vehicles, yeah. paths. For but pedestrians. It, this, this That's the highway code. So, so when I was putting in the new gate and everything, excuse me, we said then, why not, why not make a pulling bit for the dog use part? It fell on deaf ears like everything does. You know, you well, know, you tried. You know, tried. You, you know how it is. Um, you see, now before the road was blocked, uh, before the road was made, mm -hmm. there was a big mound of mud where those wallows are, and that's where we used to park because it was clearly a no through road. So mm -hmm. although we was in the road, it was a no through road, so it didn't matter. But now they've made it through road, as you see the farm is in and out with his tracks, as you yeah, saw. Yeah. So we can't park it up there because we'd have struck the road. We can't park it because we'd struck the lorry. So Bradgate says, well, just park there. It'll, it'll be okay. They've, they've okayed it with the council. And as I said, the police haven't objected. And, 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 we've just, and that's how it's just gone on and on and on. Yeah. 
Um, so to the right here, there's a housing estate, yeah? To the right here? To the right, right down no. the little footpath. There's a, a Moe Grill housing estate. Just down oh, that's a long way down there, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a long so, way down there, yeah. But people walk in with push chairs will come this way. Will come this way, yeah. I mean, 99 times out of 100, they're on that, they're on that. You know, they realise, yeah, well, Bradgate have got their security vampires, so let's walk on that side. And if someone came up here, um, I'm, I'm more than happy to to assist, but no one's objected until whenever this incident was. I, it's it's quite be, clear that, obviously, even by your statements, then, that people are worried to even walk on this side of the road because of this vehicle being here. No, I wouldn't say that. See, you've just put words in my No, mind. because they're naturally going on that they're, side and staying on that side, because, and then... Because, na because naturally they've come up from that estate. Yes, they've come up from that estate, come down that way. And, that and where they're going up, up, over there is more than likely on this side of the yeah, road. To the school, if, to the right. if, if, if they're coming up on, on this side of the road, I mean, I mean, if they're coming up on this side of the road, then, then yeah, some of them, they'll, they'll, they'll walk past. But I'm happy to cooperate if, um, if someone comes out and says, you're not supposed to fight. I will come out and talk to them, just like up with you and try and explain everything. And if there's, a, well, they're clearly now after six years, there has been a, a, a big objection. So fine, we'll, 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 we'll deal with it. We'll sort it out. We'll, we'll have to come up with another. I consider our work done. We, have to come we up don't want to be plan. repeating ourselves or causing anybody any uh, undue harassment. Now I think but, we've covered the story. But was the incident in the daytime or night time? Because I can help. What's the name of the security contractor? And then I'll tell you that. Look forward security. Look forward security. Yeah. Right, okay. So it was during school time, right? Now, you know the school is off at the moment. Yeah, okay? when did they break so up? It was on the very last day of school before they broke up. So I don't know the date. No, I, no, I don't know that. I'm that's not. all the information I've got. So it, was, so it wasn't on night time? So they, they've said to me, they've said to us, when school restarts, there's going to be a lot more people doing this route. There's going to be a lot more people starting at the school. Right, that's good. This vehicle would become more of a problem. And is there anything we can do to highlight the issue? To, okay. to bring it in, and you've now brought it to our attention. Yeah, yeah. However, the person does want does not want to be named. No, I'm not asking for a name. So, all on a, a time of day when it happened. And that unfortunately, me... no specifics are available. Right, oh, but yeah. thank you for agreeing yeah. that. It is a problem, and you're going to sort it. We're not telling you what to do. Yeah, that's down to you as a responsible. I'm, I'm, I'm more, I'm more than see. There's there's Lois in like this all night. So this is why I can't park out there. But I'm more than happy to work, um, and, and I apologise for any inconvenience that I may have caused, or that we may have caused, because it's not only me. Oh, yeah, ten minutes. Ten minutes. Right, you go in and. Uh, Chaps won't be out for a bit. Okay. No, 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 I've got to stay out here. But, um, um, so, um, well, <laughs> I, I apologise on behalf of the company I work for, for the lady that was causing inconvenience, if it was one of our dog handlers. But if it was during the daytime, then I, it wouldn't have been one of us. Okay. But nevertheless, I am crossing the street. I do apologise. Will you pass the message on to the, the, the daytime? Um, the first thing I'm going to do when you've gone is find my governor. And uh, I tell him what's going down, yep. and he can he can advise me on what to do. Um, um, but if, all I will say is, if if the incident with the lady in the chair or whatever was in the daytime, it wasn't us. But I agree with what you're saying now. At night time, I am here. And if if I'm sitting there and I see someone coming up in a buggy, I will jump out and I will say, I do apologise for the structure. Payment. I've left it clear there. I will help you if you would like, because that's the human thing to do. <laughs> but no one has, so I've never had to, to do that. Um, okay. Um, some I, I've, I've ha I have had a couple of people walk past um, that were coming from the other way on this side, and they were tooting because <sighs> they could. And I and I stepped out and I said I do apologise, but I have you know we have to park here. You know, and they say so it's okay. It's okay but they were they was just walking, and I agree. Yeah. If, it's a, if it's a double buggy, then I totally agree. And now you've brought it up to our attention, and and, and, and there's been an incident. No problem. We're more than happy to deal with it. Now, whether that means they'll get a digger in and level the grass for us, um, that's, that's a good option. Is there land? Or, 
Yeah. Well, I don't know how far. I don't know how far the the council land goes. Is it to the hedge or is it to the that line? Yeah. That line. I would that, say. That, that, I, I, yeah, I would. I, I would assume that, that they would own it from the I land from I mean, here normally, onwards. Normally, private property is from the fence and See everything else is, is See the council. Put their own sign on this piece of land. Their own sign has been. They've got. They've got a sign just down there. That would indicate to us that, that that would be their land and they can do what they want their on that. Their land is up to there. Yeah. We, right we, right we, 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 can, we can see if we can um, do something with that. Alright, we're going to leave you to it now. Any final words? No, I think you're cool with it all, mate. And I spoke too yeah. much. Sorry. Spoke too much. Well, I'm glad we could. It's just be... something I'm passionate about, you see. Yeah. Um, standing Fine. up for the, the public and rights. I, and and I've got a right to and I know it's, functions. And I know it's frustrating. And I've got defensive because you're coming a little yeah. bit aggressive. But we're all grown ups. If, you, if somebody works with us from the outset. I've tried to work with you. I mean, you did get a little bit aggressive and raise your voice and get cocky and put words in my mouth. And that I had to pull you up on that a few times. But, you know. But we got there in the end. We got there in the end. We, we'll, right. we'll, um, we'll thank you very much, sir. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll, thank you. And we'll jump on it and, and sort it out. All right. Yep. No thank you. Madness.